Hey, I'm Will from Tustin. I'm Norm from Tustin. We're at CS 2012 at the Toby booth. That's two eyes. Yeah, so Toby makes eye control. Really, really neat eye control mm -hmm. stuff. How does it work? Uh, it's near infrared, multiple cameras. What they do is the infrared illuminates your eyes yeah, and lets them track the iris yeah. and then pupil position. Yes. Uh, there's a slight calibration phase. You basically follow this orange dot as it bops around the screen. And then uh, once you've done that, it, it stores your eye profile and basically follows you around. So not only does it know where your eyes are, right. you move your head, but also where you're looking at. Exactly, so, so you, got, you got to try this out. Yeah, so a bunch of applications, they, the demo they had was CAD applications. For example, when you're zooming in, for example, a really big image or yeah. a 3D image, you can look where you want and just scroll up your scroll wheel and it'll zoom all the way at that point as opposed to moving your mouse. Oh, so it's kind of like uh, in an RTS or something like that where you have to zoom yeah. all the way and then you move your mouse and you zoom all the way back in. Except for instead of having to move the mouse cursor, you just look at where you want to zoom. Right, so imagine you've had a big 30 inch monitor, right? Yeah. It's supposed to swipe your mouse across the scroll wheel and where you gaze is where you zoom in. So you also got to try out uh, a reading app. Yeah, I explain that how that worked. That was super cool. cool. So you read uh, that a scrolling document mm -hmm. and as you read it, it would know where you were and how fast you were reading. It would scroll up so you never have to move your head. Head around or scroll the mouse wheel. Interesting. I thought it was very cool. And then the very last demo, which I thought was the like least technically like advanced demo, it okay. was you staring at some light bulbs, images of light bulbs that turn on and off. I actually thought it was the coolest because it was like psychic. Oh, like, uh, the, where you looked at the light bulb. I control the computer with the off, power of my mind. And the light bulb turned off. Very good. Uh, we also got to see this working with a Windows 8 machine. This is this laptop right here. And the sensor's built in here. You can see the bar down here. Uh, it doesn't work with natural light. It works with near infrared. I don't know how it works outside. I kind of yeah. think probably not so well. Um, but this is running a Windows 8 build, a preview build. Yeah, they uh, don't see it really as a mouse replacement. No. It's really to quickly activate like programs. So exactly. For example, it's a touch replacement. So the technology is available right now. It is very expensive, multiple thousands of dollars. Yeah, and they don't really see it hitting our consumer level for a couple of years. It really is aimed toward the professional market, the right. assistive market. Um, I mean, they're, in the video they have, games, they have some game stuff, and yeah. I can imagine them working with developers. But really, like, high-end CAD, guys whose time is so valuable, they're shaving a few minutes or off their day every day is of massive value to the company. Technology definitely works. It definitely yes. knows where your eyes are. It's just a matter of what the applications are. And they're looking for partners to bring it to a uh, more reasonable consumer level before too long. So uh, this is Toby. It's uh, here at CES 2012. We'll have more CES 2012 all week long. It's Hester. I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys later. Bye.